Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. Uh, I just want to say, I have noticed I've gained a couple of more subscribers, so I just want to say very welcome to new subscribers and welcome back to my reoccurring subscribers. So today I'm going to be doing my adult colouring book, The Sun Life Drawing Collection. Um... And I'll be showing you the adult colouring books that I have in the collection. So we'll, so we'll start. So the first one, I do apologise if the camera is a little bit wonky. It's because I'm using my, what do you call it, selfie stick. <laughs> so the first one is this one colour relaxation art animal stencils. Now the idea of this one is to just colour the pictures in one colour. But I've, I think I've done a couple in here, but I've, well, as you can see, you don't have to colour it in just one colour. You can use as many colours as you want. So the first one I did in this was I did these in Glitter Gel Pens Copics. And my camera is wobbling. <laughs> so I did that one in the Glitter Gel Pens. I might have done another one in this one. Um... As well, you'll find with these books, with most of them, at the back, you have trial pages from their other books. Do you know something? I must have only done one picture out of that, where I thought I did two for some reason. But that is one that I did in there. I will drop the books down as I go along. So the next one I've got is animal stencils well not animal stencils where am i on about it is sorry excuse me a minute I'll pause you sorry about that guys so the next one i've got is animals one color lines i think i might have only done actually tell a lie i don't know if i've done any in this one i thought i had but I don't think I have. You have your lines and dots ones where this is just the one colour lines. And on the back of the book it gives you some samples of some of the finished pictures. I honestly thought I'd coloured some out of this but I mustn't have done so. I'll have to get some done in that. So the next one is Animals, Lines and Dots by Sun Life Drawing. And I have done the front cover in this. I did it the same as, obviously, the front cover there. And I did, actually, I'm really proud of this one. I quite like this one, how this turned out. I'm not quite sure what I used in it. Uh, in the inside of the book as well, on the contents page, it tells you what the animals are included in the book. I don't know if I've done any more out of this one. I don't think I have. No, I haven't. And the same with the other one, on the back of the book it gives you the pictures, what they actually turn out like when they're coloured. So on the next one is Animal Quest Colour by Number by Sun Life Drawing. At the back of this book it gives you a colour code and it gives you more of a limited colour code to use for this one. So this is absolutely great for if you do only have a limited a set of pencils or pens and it shows you some other books that are doing the series I don't think I've done anything out of this now this one it just gives you it's just hexagon shaped types if I zoom you in just a little bit it's just hexagon shapes where in some of them they give you square shapes as well so yeah I haven't done anything out of that I'm going to have to get some of these books coloured, some pictures out of them. So next we have Animal Quest Baby, colour by number by Sun Life Drawing. And again, on the back of the book, it gives you the co limited colour code, which is 12 colours. And shows you some other books to do in the series. I don't think I've coloured anything out of this one again. <laughs> And it also on the inside page it gives you some of the animals. Well, it gives you the animals it includes in the book. And as well, it gives you a colour palette where you can test out 
your different mediums you want to use which I find this extremely helpful um, as I said I have not coloured anything out of this one and this is also hexagon shaped as well so the next one is travel mosaics colour by number by sun life drawing again all of these books are by sun life drawing so this one it gives you a 22 colour palette and it shows you some other books they do in the series i think i have colored some out of this one on the content page it tells you the different places that are included in this book and it also gives you your color palette now i have colored i'm not sure how much i've colored in this but i've done this one now i Unless I've written it down, I can't quite remember what I used. I might have used WH Smith colouring markers in this book for that picture. Um, and I did this one. I like this one. This is nice. I think I might have used the same for that picture as well. And I think that is all that I've coloured in that one. So the next one is One Colour Animal Stencils and I think I've done one or two in this one. It doesn't give you a list of what animals are in this one. It just gives you the different animals in the black backgrounds and I did this one. I did this using, for the inner shapes, I used black gel pen and then I used a silver metallic gel pen for the outlining and i love this i think it makes it really really pop it makes it stick out <clears throat> so just have a quick flip see if i've done anything else in this yeah i have i did this one of the dog uh this one i decided to just color the shapes on the inside i didn't do any outlining for this and i am really really pleased with how it turned out i just love that absolutely love it so yeah that is all that i've done in that one so the next one before i go into it i'll take a sip of my coffee oh so the next one is this um it's relax and color mandala by sun life drawing i was gifted this book on facebook on a facebook group that i was in now i started colouring the front cover i didn't finish it and i think that's all that i've coloured in this one at the minute this is just general mandala designs in this one it is different mandala designs i've not actually coloured anything else in that i'm afraid to say i have that many books <laughs> so the next one is one colour mandala by Sun Life Drawing and the same with the other ones the idea is to colour this in one colour but you don't have to you can use as many colours as you like which I, I pretty much that's what I've done so I did the front cover and I used a different variety of metallic um, markers they weren't gel pens they were normal markers that I used in this one I did this one and I think I used Spectrum Spectrum nor mark uh, metallic markers for that. I did that one and I just used a general alcohol marker to do that one. I did this one. And as you can see with this one, I used a variety of colours with that. I did this one, which I think I was going for a summery theme with that one. And I'm really pleased with that. I've done this one. Now... Hmm. I think with this one, um, I was doing a colour along which was on Donna, I think it was Colour with Donna, her Facebook group here, she's no longer actually on the group, but I did this um, colour, on, colour along for In Memory of a Daughter Brooke, I did this one. As you can see, I've done quite a few in this. I've done that one. I just find this book really easy to do for when you just don't want to have to think or you just want to 
colour straight out that one I did this one and even though I'm in the UK on the 4th of July last year I just wanted to contribute to the 4th of July for my American buddies because even though I'm not obviously in the US I still like to obviously celebrate your time so I did that one I'm pleased with how that turned out I did this one and I used glitter gel pens for this one and I'm really really pleased with how that turned out it is so so sparkly I just love it the only thing is I can't remember what glitter gel pens I used because if I did I'd get those gel pens out again and I'd use them for more pictures so that is how far I've got in that book at the minute so the next one is one colour relaxation now this is the 3d mandala one where the actual mandala pictures pop out so if you can just bear with me a second i'm just going to pause you while i have a drink of my coffee sorry about that guys i just wanted to pause you while i had a sip of my coffee and i thought the last thing you want to hear is me slurping down the phone <laughs> so yeah these are mandalas which are give the 3d effect i didn't colour the front cover I did this one I went for a sun theme and I love this I just love how it just pops how it stands out I just love it I did that one and oh excuse me sorry guys yeah <coughs> bless me I think I'm coming down with a cold so I did this one and I think I used sharpies very fine point for this one and I did this one and I used darker colours for that one. As you can tell, I'm a mandala fan. <laughs> and I did this one. I just love it. That is as far as I've got in that book. So, guys, the next one is Colour by Number Mystery Quest. Now, this one, it gives you triangular hexagon. No, it doesn't. Now, it gives you triangular, hexagon and circle shapes. Now, my favourite are the circle shapes. I absolutely love them. And it doesn't tell you, obviously, with it being a mystery quest, it doesn't tell you what is included in this book. So, it is all a mystery. You don't know what you're colouring until you colour it. So, you get your colour palette. And these are some of the pictures I've done. Now, this one was circular shaped. I love this so much. Circle shapes are my favourite. I did this one, which was a squared shape one. And I actually really love this one as well. I just love the array of colours. Got this one, which was a hexagon shaped theme as well. And I did this one. I'm not too sure what that is actually. So if you are sure, if you do know what that is, please leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Enlighten me. So I did this one as well. Ugh. Now I th I like the picture. I think it's turned out really, really bright and bold and colourful. I just don't like snails, but I thought I'm not going to colour a picture just because it's a picture of a snail. So I still did it. Much to my dismay, <laughs> I did this one, which was squared shape, and this one's a train. I love this one because I love travelling on trains. Just my favourite go-to transport. I've done this one, which was hexagon shaped. Done quite a few in this. I didn't think I did so many as I have done. So I've done this one of the parrot as well, which was tri uh, triangular shaped. And that is all I've done in that. I might put this book to the side to do for my colouring challenge this year. Which I'll let you know at the end of the video what that is. I didn't think I'd coloured as much in that one so I will include that. Now the next one I'm not going to include this one because it is aimed more towards children. But I'll be doing a separate video for that on my colouring channel. Which is keep calm and craft so i will do that in a separate video now the next one is animal color by number mosaics and this one it gives you a 22 color palette 
and it shows you some of the books they do in the series now i don't think i've done too much in this um it gives you obviously the book belongs to it contents page of what animals are included in the book your color palette which i haven't used in this one i did this one um i'm quite pleased with how that turned out i really really do love it i'm really really pleased with that funnily enough i don't think i've done anything else in this book i think that's all that i've done in this one so i must get some more colored in that so the next one is animal quest love color by number the book belongs to your contents page and i may not have done anything in this your color palette yeah i'm right i haven't done anything in this one either and this is all hexagon shaped and this one is a 12 color palette as well sorry that was me banging the stairs with less step ladders now lines and dots by sun live drawing these are just obviously lines and dots throughout the book. Now, I think I've coloured quite a bit in this one. So, I did the front cover and I just went by the actual front cover, the colours. It gives you contents page of what's included. And these are the pictures that are coloured. I did a seal. I did this one. I like this one. It's one of my favourite ones. I did this one of some melons. Now, I don't mind the lines one, but I, to be honest, I much prefer the dots ones. It doesn't seem to send my eyes so funny. Got this one of the chameleon. The iguana, not chameleon. Where am I on about? I did this one. <laughs> Now, I used two different colours for this one just to give it a bit of a kick to give it a different colour. And I might be doing that in some more pictures. Was this one of the sunflower? This one of the pussycat in Alice in Wonderland. It's cute. It's cute. I did this one and for this one I used a glitter pens for this. Now I think the glitter pen in this one might have actually been my Culpit glitter pens. Now I think those are the same as that I did in the Mandala book. So if it is I'll have to get some more of those glitter pens out. So that is what I did. I used this, I did this one. Now the reason why it's two tone colour is because the one colour started running out. So I changed it to the darker blue. Now for this one, I used um, glitter felt tip pen by Giotto. They're good glitter pens. They give really good glitter effect off. The only problem is it chews up the paper. Those markers do. I've done this one of a B. I did this one. So cute. I did this one of the pumpkin yeah i love that one i really really love that so i think i'm gonna have to keep this book out as well because i've done quite a lot in this one I've got this one of the ladybug and I've got pikachu oh my god i didn't realize how many pictures i've colored in this I've got that one i think that's a lily isn't it I'm going to have to put this book with my to complete for this year. So it's a good job I'm doing this video. So the next one is Fantasy, Fantasy, yeah. Fantasy, Fantasy Quest by Sun Life Drawing. On the back it actually gives you a colour code. It gives you a 22 colour colour code. And some of the books are doing the series. Now I don't think I've done anything out of this. The reason being, yeah, it's because, yeah. My son got at this book. <laughs> so it gives you the contents page of what it includes. Your colour palette. And yeah, like I thought, I haven't coloured anything in this one. And this one is a combination of a triangle, hexagon and... Has it got any circles in this one? No, triangles and hexagons. It's got no circles in it. <laughs> So, yeah, I haven't coloured anything in that. 
so I'll just put this one to the side because that is more for the younger generation now this one is stained glass colour by number Christmas I absolutely love this got your page belongs to but I haven't written my name down <laughs> your colour palette throughout the book and I did this one now I did this in November last year because that's when I started colouring my Christmas pictures and that's all I've done in this <gasps> it's all I've done in it you get some trial pages from the other books and that is I'm afraid all that I've done in that book and it gives you the colour code at the back of the book. I'll have to grab this book out if they do Christmas in July again. So the next one is Mosaic Colour by Number Mandala. And I think I've done a few in this one as well. I did the front cover. Sheer colour palette. I did this one. This one. I did that one. <laughs> As you can tell, I've done a few in this. I did that one. I actually used pencils for this one, my prism colour, to try it out. And that is all that I've done in that. Now, that one, I thought I'd actually done more pictures in that one, but I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the next one is Mosaic Black Edition Colour by Number. To be honest, I forgot I got this. Now this is the same colour by number as the other colour by number mandala but this is on black background instead of uh, white. Now I don't think I've done too many in this one as well. I did that one and I used alcohol markers. I did that one and I've done that one. And that is all that I've actually done in that one. I haven't done too much in that. So the next one is World of Mice Stained Glass Colour by Number and it's a 22 palette one. The book belongs to your colour palette. Have I done anything out of this? Surely I've done something out of it. I thought I've done something out of this. Oh yeah, I know I've coloured a picture out of this. Now I did that one for Halloween because I just liked it. And I thought with it being Halloween I wanted to do that one. So I used alcohol markers with that. I think that might actually be... No, tell a lie. I've done this one as well. I thought I'd only done one in that but I've done two in it. So I used actually for these i use prismacolor and pro markers so that is all that i've done in that so the next one i've got quite a few the next one is animal one color art now the idea is to do this in one color but you can do it in as many as you want it gives you contents page of what's included now i don't think i'm done too much in this i've done that one and I used alcohol markers and I did this one of the pussycat. You booty cat. And I did those in September last year. That's all that I've done in that. Let me spot that one. Now this one I will put to the side because that is more aimed towards. Now I've got this one. Now this is the more or less the same as the colour by number one. It's just the normal one where you don't where it's not any colour by number it's just normal I actually brought this by accident because I wanted the colour by number one but I'd ordered this and when it came I realised it wasn't colour by number but I ended up keeping it because <clears throat> um, I thought I can use my own incentive on what colours to use for it so I did end up keeping that one now we have three more this one is Colour by Number Christmas Mosaics. I don't know if I've done too much in this either. Um, I've got the, you've got the colour code there. I did this one of Santa. I did. Apparently, I got the pages stuck. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did that one. There. 
I don't know why I didn't sign these pictures. I should have done. I did that one there and I used a mixture of mediums on there. And the reason why I can tell you that is because it's got it at the top there. Because <laughs> I writ it down. That's what I should do. I did this one as well with the doggies. Which is so cute. I've done that one. And I did this one. That one there. Did I do any more out of this? Yeah, I did. I did this one of the Christmas tree. And I've done this one. I did quite a few in here as well. I must have done quite a few this year, actually. I did this one, which I like this one. This is one of my favourite ones. And I think the last one I did out of this book was this one. So, yeah, that is that book. So, the last two is Animal Quest Colour by Number Christmas. And this one has a 20 colour palette. Now, I think I've done a couple in here, but not too many. You've got your contents page, your colour palette. And these are what I did in this one. I can't remember what mediums I used because, I, like an idiot, I didn't write it down like I should have done. Some book for some reason on some pictures I do and some I don't. Did this one. I'm not all too sure what that picture is. Uh, someone did tell me what it is. But I've got this one. I like this one. This is cute. This is nice. This one is. I enjoyed doing that. And that is all I did in that one. So the last book that I've got to show you guys is this Animal One Colour Dots. And like the others, the idea is to colour it in one colour, but you can do it as many colours as you like. Go to town with it. Uh, try out different colouring techniques. Um, because that's what I've started doing in some of my books. It gives you the contents page. So I've done this one of the little kitty. And I used just a normal general Tombow marker to do that. I did this one of the spider. My husband absolutely hates spiders. <laughs> so I did that one. And that's all I've done in that, surprisingly. I thought I did more in it. So, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for now. That is my adult... That is my collection of the adult colouring books by Sun Life Drawing. As I said, I do have three other books by Sun Life Drawing, but I'm going to include those in a little mini video on the channel which is keep calm and craft uh if you've enjoyed the video guys please feel free to give it a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that thank you to the subscribers and the reoccurring subscribers uh, you're all appreciated very 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 much as well and the coloring challenge that i'm doing for the year if you want to join me feel free is hashtag coloring book finish and the idea is to get some of your books finished that are nearly on the way to finishing um, throughout the year. So that is, guys. I'm going to bid you a farewell for now. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now. Bye.